Hey guys, um, so I have a little bit of a haul video to share with you. Um, just various things I've picked up recently. I got this at um, Target. And it's actually really nice. You get um, two yards for a dollar, so that's a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and got this one as well. And um, then at Michael's, they were having sale on all their Recollections washi. So I got this one. I, I believe they were all like 50% off or something. Yeah. So, and I've never had fabric washi before. So I picked just this one out. I was tempted to get a lot more washi, but I restrained myself. So um, I just thought this one was really pretty. And it feels different. It's very squishy, I guess, because it's fabric. So um, it's kind of cool. And then at Michael's, they had this on clearance. And I had gotten this stuff before um, to make the things. And this is like a travel-themed one. And we're going on vacation, so it was two fifty, and it used to be nine. So um, I went ahead and got that, and it has these ones in there. Oh, and I had gotten this one as well, just because um, you can, and you can color that any color you want, actually, with with um, paint or color sprays. Then on Amazon, I picked this up. It's the moleskin. Um, watercolor album art plus watercolor album and this is a small one it's like five by three something um, and it has watercolor paper in it it's pretty thin watercolor paper but it does have some nice texture so I think it's gonna hold up well and it lies pretty flat when open I mean it's moleskins are really good about that um, you can see that it's pretty easy to uh, I mean it doesn't lie flat but I think you'd probably be holding it and you can kind of, um, it's nice. It's very light. So I think I'm going to take this with me on our vacation instead of the current art journal I have that has the watercolor pages. Um, and you can see how it's very easy to do um, like urban sketching landscapes or whatever, which is kind of what I bought it for. But at the same time, if I feel like doing a regular watercolor painting or whatever, like drawing a girl or something, I can do that too. Um, I'm just trying to be really good about not bulking up our suitcases, not bulking up my um, backpacks, um, stuff like that. Just keeping the weight down and keeping the volume down. Just because we're going with our kids, so we have four people, and we can't expect them to carry suitcases around. So we're probably only going to bring like two medium-sized suitcases, and we're going to be gone for almost two weeks. So just the thought of um, packing like all that stuff for four people into two suitcases kind of gives me nightmares. So um, as you can tell, I'm not much of like, you know, a minimalist. I like to like have everything I like with me at all times. So, oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to make it work. So that's why I've been getting some things that were a little bit smaller. Uh, then, oops, sorry, on Amazon I got this. I don't have any fountain pens, but now that I've been watching Midori and Hobonichi videos, everybody keeps raving about all these fountain pens. So I found this one on Amazon. It was the cheapest option that had the best reviews, I guess you could say. That's basically, you know, that's, it was like a little bit over $10.00. And it had some, it had really good reviews, so that's why I got it. I really have no other explanation for this. Um, it's kind of cool. You can put this on here if you want to extend it out or make it heavier, but I don't like heavy pens. So without that in there, it's not that heavy. And I like how it's um, more narrow at the, and I got the fine nib. This is the fine nib. And um, I like how it's more narrow over here because I don't like thick pens either. Um, I like thin pens. So this, this feels very comfortable. Then I'm going to have to, I've, like I said, I've never had one of these before. So I'm going to have to read instructions on how to stick the ink in there. So I'm pretty excited to try that. Um, 
it should be good. I mean, it had good reviews. It's not one of those like $90 pens. It's like a $10 pen. So even if I hate it, it's not the end of the world, you know, but I really wanted to try it. Then, um, on Amazon, I also got this. It had, um, I had it in my shopping cart for like a while and the price was you know what I forget what it was and then um, all of a sudden the price dropped and it was like 60% off so it was like nine dollars or something for 12 and these are water soluble so these are basically metallic watercolor pencils and I don't have any right now I have watercolor pencils but they're not metallic so I thought that would be really great and it was less than nine dollars which is and usually it's like so like I said it was like 60% off so it was definitely a good deal so actually, I'm going to go ahead and open it, and then I can kind of show you. Um, it has a lot of great colors. I'll show you the colors. Those are the colors. And let me pick out one and try it out for you guys. Um... that and this is my pad where I like try out my different art supplies so I can see what colors I have of everything and these are my um, Stadler watercolor pencils so I'm gonna go ahead and I have some space here I'm gonna go ahead and try it here so let me try the gold I guess I'll do the gold and I'm not gonna do all of them just because it would take like too long or something but I'll do like the gold one and I think this is basically what I did before with the watercolor pencil. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I have a watercolor brush right here. I'm going to dip it in some water too. Sorry for all the noise. I'm just still trying to figure out a good um, setup for... Um, let me see. I don't know. I'm not sure what I think about it. So it's kind of hard to tell. Let me try a different color. I'm not sure I like that one that much. Let me try this one. I mean, they definitely work really nice as pencils, just because they're very kind of smooth and creamy. So let me try, maybe I had too much water before because I had dipped the watercolor brush. It's already a watercolor brush and I dipped it into water. So, so this one's nice. I'm not sure how metallic it is though, but I don't know. Maybe I'll like see it more. Oop. Maybe I'll see it more when, um, I don't know, when it dries. So, yeah, I can't really tell, but I think it does have a metallic. I think when it dries, it might have, hold on. Oh. We're going to test this out so I can give you guys a definitive answer. Okay, so let's take a look how metallic it is. I'm not sure how metallic it is, but it's got a little bit more of a metallic tinge to it than regular pencils. So, um, I mean, if you guys can get it for like $9, it's not that bad because it's a pretty good deal for usually watercolor pencils or pencils or whatever that are good. And these are Derwent. So usually good pencils are like more than a dollar each. So, um, Okay, that's that. And then um, I had mentioned before that I took, I had signed up for a class with Finna Bear for, it was called Heart of the Clock, and where we altered this clock. And I just got this out. This was from the clock. And I'll show you some of the stuff. So when I showed up there, um, they had my kit all set up. It was in like this bag. 
and I'll show you all the stuff that we've got in it. We got those flowers and gears and um, these flowers. This was a flower vine. Um, there was this in it. And it's called Melange Art Pebbles of various sizes. And it had this one I had gotten dirty because I was going to use it, but then I didn't. So it has a whole bunch of those in there. It was all filled up with that. And this cute jar. And then I had these, which I loved. Um, it had 20 in there, but obviously I used up a lot of the stuff that we had gotten. Um, oh, and I had the archival cast um, stuff and had the foot, the face, the heart, um, and a hand. So it was a foot, a hand, a heart, a face, um, and maybe something else, I forget. And then just a bunch of these little flowers that were like separate. And then these are the leftovers from the metallic um, packages that we had gotten. Um, oops, sorry. So these are the leftovers that I had. And these are nice because you can like cut them with your scissors. And I wish I had brought my Tim Holtz scissors to cut stuff with, but I only had my regular um, fine tip scissors. And actually I was able to cut things with those too. It wasn't really that big of a deal. Um, these are really nice. And I love that they're easy to cut. So these are like some of the leftovers that I have. Oh, there you can see that. How nice is that? How great is that? Yeah. So these are the leftovers. I just love all the stuff. It's so awesome. That's that one and that one. Just so you can see, it's a lot of detail. Some of the pieces you obviously can't cut. They're like super thick um, and heavy. Just really cool stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the project I made. And this is my project. I had so much fun in that class. It was really, it just, it was an amazing time. And she had all of her mixed media, like mediums and like black gesso and um, graphite like stuff and I mean just like and all these different paints so we had like one type of paint for like the background and then we had another type of paint for the highlights and oh my god I just love her paint so much I'm like desperate to find I think Simon says stamp sells it so I'm just waiting for them to have some kind of coupon because I'm gonna buy up all her paint because I just I'm obsessed with it. Her paint is so cool. Um, the background paint was metallic and then the highlight paint it's like if you put it on white it's one color but if you put it on a dark background it turns into a different color and it was just really neat. So here's the face. Um, let me see. There we go. There. So you can see and then this is one of those things that we had gotten and I kind of bent it to lie over the heart. Oh, so it was the heart and then the flaming part were two separate pieces. And then, oh, here's the hand. And everybody's looked amazing when we were done. Um, just everybody's looked so good. And they were all so different depending on, you know, what people chose to put on there, what they liked, what colors they used. I'm obsessed with purple, that's my favorite color, so I use purple as the background, and then mostly gold for highlights. And um, it just looks so good. I just love how it came out, and it was such a fun class, and it was so fun to just get all, like you show up and you, you get the clock brand new, and then you get a whole package of all her goodies, and there's all her paint, and there's herself, and she's, um, she's just really awesome. She's just very kind of down to earth and just very like real and just sort of, you know, not, I, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but she's just like a really cool person. And um, 
we just had so much fun like everybody had a great time and you just kind of sit there and you paint and I was so nervous about going because I'm not like the most you know social person and I almost like chickened out like literally I was like oh maybe I'm just not gonna go um and then I was like cut it out would you know stop it <laughs> like go there and I'm so glad I did obviously um you know you just kind of show up you sit down and then she goes right into the lesson there's no like awkwardness or anything you just like you know start doing stuff right away and then you're just like sitting there painting and it's so like fun and relaxing and like peaceful and there are no kids like screaming at you and like needing cereal <laughs> and you're just like so um so you can see it's just like so much texture and she has like these awesome products we all got to try out and she had like everything there and like her paintbrushes and I don't know it was just such a great experience I'm so glad I went and um yeah I just want her paint now so don't be surprised if there's a haul in the future with like all her paint in it so yeah so thank you for watching I hope you guys liked um all my stuff that I shared and once I get all the pencils swatched out if you guys want, let me know in the comments and I can show you um, what all the pencils look like once I get them all on the watercolor paper. Because I'm going to do swatches for all of them. I just didn't want to like make this video be 50 minutes long. So yeah, so that's, that's my share for today. And um, like I said, I have tons more videos to share. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff I've been doing. So um, definitely... Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.